Hello and welcome to this edition of Blythe Ray Business News. Today I'm joined by Rob Edwards, who's the Executive Chairman, fairly newly appointed back in uh, October 2022, Executive Chairman of Blue Jay Mining. Blue Jay listed in London, also on the uh, FSE and on the OTC market uh, in North America. Um, Rob, welcome on the show. Um, you've recently uh, um, and made two announcements. Uh, the first of which was a chairman's strategic review, um, and then the other uh, regards uh, a placing. Um, first of all, give us an overview of this strategic review. What did you find, and what does it mean now for Blue Jay and its shareholders? Well, I took the job initially because Blue Jay is a is a perhaps misunderstood portfolio. There's an array of pieces on our on our playing field. Um, which uh, I think need to be ranked accordingly, and all of them need attention. All of them warrant investment. It's just how we deliver value for shareholders. And I think maybe in the past there was very much an emphasis on the headline projects, such as Dundas Ilmenite project, such as the JV with Cobalt at Disco, but there are other assets in this portfolio for which we receive no recognition and no value, and those will be emphasised more coming into this year. So. You've got the wide portfolio and you're going to change the emphasis across the portfolio, but strategically going forwards, is it now fair to say you're perhaps Blue Jay is more of a, perhaps a project generator? Well, we aim to generate value for shells through the development of projects. So I'm only aware of a, a tiny amount of teams in Greenland that can deliver what we can deliver. We can operate there. We can operate in Finland as well. We have a very proficient technical team. We also have engineers. We have great government relationships. We have the social license to operate in Greenland. We are essentially mainly staffed by Danish and Greenlandic nationals, which is important. But we also have best-in-class science. So, for example, Kangaluasak, which is our one of our flagship projects, which we'd really like to advance this year, is next to the former operating Black Angel mine, which operated profitably for over 20 years. We own all the ground around that. And we know that we have a five kilometre discovery zone, which has delivered grab samples, which indicate there's something very exciting going on there. So we have not only the ability to operate in Greenland in a, a very healthy relationship with the Greenlandic government, we aim to deliver value for our shareholders, and we believe that we're very, very well placed to do that. More and over and above teams coming in fresh from um, Australia or Canada, we, we believe that we're very well positioned to deliver value. Okay, so look, five months in, you, you've done your strategic review, you've looked at the portfolio, you've now got a direction which you've, you've mapped out that you're going for. Let's therefore turn our attention to this, 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 this fundraise you've, you've just mm -hmm. uh, announced. Mm -hmm. um, how much are you raising and what are you going to use it for? So this is not a conventional equity placement. The, uh, the company raised money in May last year to drill out uh, the Dundas uh, Ilmenite project to further develop our understanding of that old body, but also for general corporate purposes, but also to advance the feasibility studies at Dundas. This raising, we are at a pivot point for the company. So rather than do a conventional equity placement, we have uh, a facility for $6 million divided into three lots of $2 million. We may not draw the whole lot down, it's a facility payable in shares. We are certainly taking down the first two. We already have some cash in the bank. So just today, we know we can deliver the draw program at Kangaloo Arsac and a bit more and cover our overheads uh, for a period of time. It gives us time to deliver milestones for shareholders. But we didn't want to go back to the market now without having some mm. positive news in our back pocket. So we have funding today without doing uh, an extensive roadshow, without um, maybe some of the uncertainty that that brings. But we know also, almost without doubt, that we can deliver value with those dollars that we've secured today. Yeah. Now, you mentioned the uh, Kangalawasak. I hope I've said that correctly. You have, perfect. Um, the money's being focused there. Why? What is it about that particular project that says we're going to spend some money there? It's a, it's a district. Uh, it, it has never been drilled. So the company inherited it when it was formed from Avana Minerals. Uh, prior to that, it had some early stage exploration work on it. Last year, there was some money uh, spent on geophysics. Uh, that has really given us some confidence to de-risk the project, to be able to say that the only thing we can do now to prove this is what we think it is, is to put some drills on it and drill. 
So we have a, a new concept in exploration. We will be a, a boat-based exploration team. It's completely exposed. It's unlike a lot of other geology uh, in Greenland, particularly relative to disco, which is quite deep and complex. Kangaluarsak has exposed mineralization along strike. We think it's part of a basin structure. So really it's a district. It's not a single project. It's a vast district. It's extensively mineralized. We've, that's been proven. It's been mapped at surface and it's next door. The best analogy you can have, it's next door to a previously operating mine, mm. which operated for 20 years successfully. Closeology. Closeology, exactly. Okay. Look into the future. Um, because investors uh, love news flow. Mm -hmm. So looking over the next few months, what should we be looking out for coming out of Blue Jay? Well, switching over to Finland, we have three properties in Finland, which people often forget. I've spoken to Shell as a Blue Jay who completely forgot about our Finnish portfolio. Uh, we have a joint venture with Rio Tinto, PLC. So we have a, a farming arrangement with them at Enenkoski, which is one of our projects there. That was drilled last year. For as a scout drilling program to establish where the main structure that we really want to drill is. Um, we have drills turning uh, there this month. The first core is in the shed. It's being logged and will be sent off for assay. So that'll be the first news mm -hmm. flow. Uh, there'll also be a more extensive release outlining why we're excited by Kangaroo Arsuk. It'll be quite science heavy, but it'll be worthwhile portraying the detail. And this is in line with the uh, transparency initiative, which we would like to instill as a a matter of course for the company going forwards. Uh, and thereafter, we'll have um, some news flow on the intended exploration uh, program at uh, Disco, uh, which is our joint venture with Cobalt Minerals. Lots of stuff coming up. You must come back and keep us informed. Thank you, Rob. That was um, Rob Edwards, executive chairman of uh, Blue Jay Mining, giving us an update on his strategic review and the recent fundraising. You can find Blue Jay on the London market with the ticker of JAY. J. That's it for this edition of Blythe Ray Business News. Thanks for watching.